Setting up your gradebook, part two, entering your grading scheme. We will explain how to set up grade columns in Brightspace. It is important to create a column for all your assessments, quizzes and assignments because the system does not create these automatically with the exception of Maple TA assignments. You can follow these guidelines assuming that you have already set up your gradebook using the setup wizard. If you have not done that yet, please follow the guidelines on the previous Brightspace support web page. To create new web grade categories, click on Course Admin and then select Grades. Next, click on Manage Grades. As an example, we will start by creating three major categories, Assignments, Online Quizzes and Final Exam. To do so, click on New and then on Category. Let's start with the assignments, and that is what I enter here in the Name field. You can leave out the short name as well as the description. The weight, however, must be filled in, and in this case, for this category, that is 45%. From a prior video, you have learned that we use categories as an umbrella to group our items. And so usually, this first option is the most logical choice to manually assign the weight to the various items within this category. I will come back and use the other two options for my other two categories later. You might need to scroll a bit further down and you can choose to select these two checkboxes where you show the class average as well as the grade distribution to the students. This can be very useful so that they can gauge where they stand relative to the rest of the class. Click on Save and Close. Once you do that, you see notes which indicate that our grading doesn't quite add up just yet. To create the other two categories, click again on New and then on Category and create the category for online quizzes, which count for a weight of 15% in this course. There are four quizzes and we would like each quiz to count equal weight, but we want to drop the lowest quiz from this category so that only the best three count towards the final grade. In this situation you select Distribute Weight evenly across all items and then enter 1 for the number of lowest non-bonus items to drop for each user. You can always click on the question mark if you need more information on that topic. Click on Save and Close. We're still getting the note that something doesn't quite add up. Let's go and add the last category from the final exam. Click on New and then Category and then enter the final exam with a weight of 40%. In the final exam we might need several questions. We want each question to count for a certain number of points then the total weight counts proportionately towards the exam grade. Let's use an example where the final exam has only two questions and the first question has 10 points and the second question has 30 points. That means the first question will have a weight of 25% and the second question will have a weight of 75%. Using the second option means that Brightspace will automatically distribute the weights by the points across all items in this category. Now, obviously, when we set up our gradebook at the start of the course, we don't necessarily know what our final exam breakdown is going to be. That isn't a problem, and in fact, this will be the situation for most categories in your course. We can select this option for now, and then come back to it later to adjust it. Hit save and close to finish. You will notice that we only have one note. So next time we will go and start adding items to each category. Let's start with our assignments. Click on new and then create a new item. Let's assume that we have only two assignments in this course. Assignment 1 has 30% of the weight and Assignment 2 has 70% of the weight. We can create items of several different types. 
but the most common is the first one, a numeric type, although some of the other item types might also be useful in your course. Enter in the name of the assignment here, and make sure category belongs to the assignment category. Brightspace shows you the weight allocation for that category so that you can be sure that you are selecting the right one. This particular assignment has a certain number of points, maybe 15 points. Those 15 points are what give the 25% weight to this category. This information comes from your grading syllabus. We explain rubrics in another video. You could and should select to display the average to the class as well as the grade distribution and when you're finished click on save and close. A note from Brightspace may alert us to the fact that our assignments category does not quite add up to 100% yet. Let's go and add that second assignment which has 75% of the weight and happens to count for 30 points. And there we're finished and no more notes from Brightspace. Everything adds up as it should. Let's quickly go add four items to the online quizzes. When you add the first quiz and the moment you select the category to be online quizzes, you notice that the weight value is greyed out. That's because for the online quizzes, we had to set the settings to drop to the lowest quiz item. Brightspace will therefore automatically calculate the weights for us. You notice that as you add the second, the third and fourth quiz that the weight distribution adjusts itself automatically. Each quiz can also count a different number of points, but they all get the same amount of weight. Imagine it's near the end of the term and we want to enter in our final exam items. Create a new item under the final exam category and enter the number of points. 10 points, for example, in question 1. We also cannot enter the weight at this time, because remember, our settings had to set to distribute the weight in proportion to the points. We are required to click Save first, and then that question currently gets 100% of the weight. Hit Save and Close and add your second exam question, which counts for 30 points. You notice that the weight is adjusted to 75%. When you hit save and close, you can see that the weights of the question in the final exam are now in proportion to the number of points. We've set up a basic grading scheme in our course. Now we're ready to enter the grades.